and welcome to this video series where we're going to look at building our own custom application using UP's API to provide the data. So an API is just a way for us to request our data from UP. So let's say we wanted to request all our transactions. We can send a request to the API and when we get that response back, we can use our application to present it however we would like. Uh, the cool thing about this is we can, we can build little automated tools that help kind of automate our lives or um, solve a, a particular problem that we might be having uh, that maybe other up customers may not be having. Another thing we could do is use this for looking at projections of how we're spending our finances and so look at ways that we could better save or budget and be able to afford the things we really want. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the developer docs. Uh, you can get to those by going to uh, developer.up.com.au should see this welcome page, which uh, has all the information of what we can do with the UP API. So you see here, we've got getting started. That's kind of what we're going to step through today. Uh, we have authentication and uh, how to handle error, error responses. Um, and then the different things that we can actually make requests for. So accounts or tags or transactions. Um, this is a really, really great place to, to find all the information about the API. And it's obviously the place that we're going to keep up to date as much as possible. So when we do enable more functionality uh, in the API, um, this will be the place that you'll find it. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to this get your personal access token button. And I'm just going to open that in a new tab because we're going to need both of these pages a little bit. Okay, so this page is giving us a QR code that we can scan with our UP app. So if you launch the UP app, uh, if you haven't registered an account yet, you may need to step through the onboarding process. But uh, once you've logged in, you should see this activity screen. And if you swipe to the left uh, most menu, the UP menu, and about two thirds of the way down, we have this scan QR code button. And when we click that, it'll probably ask for permissions to use your camera if you haven't uh, enabled that yet. And then you get this little box where if you hover this over the QR code, it's going to scan it and then ask if you want to grant access uh, to this client. So I'm going to say confirm. And then you'll see on the other page, once I uh, authenticate with my touch ID, it may ask you for a passcode or face ID or something like that. Uh, but you'll see once we've granted access, the uh, up API uh, docs page or the, the token page has now redirected to actually give us our personal access token. Uh, so a couple of things to think about here. Uh, this, this token is, is kind of like a traditional username and password that you might use for another bank um, or another service that, that you might use. So you probably wouldn't give your username and password out to just random strangers, probably wouldn't post it on Facebook or other social media, and you probably try and avoid committing your username and password to a uh, source control like GitHub. So you probably want to treat your token in the same way. So this token basically represents your username and password. So anyone who has your token will be able to make a request for uh, any of the data in, in the API. That being said, if you do think that your uh, token has been compromised, don't stress, it's very easy to uh, revoke that token and create a new access token, which we'll look at in the next video. So we're going to go back to the docs page and scroll down a little bit to making our first request. So making make your first API request. You'll see here we're using curl, which is just a way that we can make um, a HTTP request or a request to the API. And we're just going to the slash ping URL or endpoint, um, which is just going to give us back, um, basically confirm that our uh, authorization token is valid. Um, so going to copy this command, and I'm going to open up uh, iTerm. You can use any any kind of terminal or command line interface. So uh, terminal on Mac OS and Linux and um, command prompt or uh, WSL potentially on, on Windows. I'm just gonna paste that uh, in here and get rid of the dollar sign your access token. And then I'm gonna go back to our personal access token page and just click copy on the uh, next to the token there. You can actually like select it entirely, but um, yeah, it's a nice little convenient button there. So then I'm gonna paste in uh, my token and press enter. And I see this meta ID, blah, 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 and then status emoji lightning bolt. So as long as you get this, this up lightning bolt emoji, um, then we're all good to go. And that token is, uh, is valid and giving you access to your account. So if you were experiencing any issues while, while getting this set up, um, I recommend you go over to this get help section. 
I open that up in a new tab, uh, it will take us to our GitHub issues for the API. So you'll see here that there's a collection of um, open issues. So these aren't just uh, like bugs or, or, or problems that people run into, but also feature requests or requests for particular documentation. Um, so it's actually a cool place just to come and look at, at what other people are doing with the with the API or what they're trying to do um, and, and see where we're up to in implementing those features. You can also look at the closed uh, issues if you would like to see um, things that we have implemented or maybe some discussion around why it shouldn't be in the API. Um, but yes, if you would like to create a new issue, if you just click new issue and step through uh, giving us as much information as you can, then hopefully we'll be able to look at either the problem that you're having or the feature that you'd like to see. Cool. In the next video, we're going to look at revoking token access. So if, if your token has been uh, has, has leaked somewhere that you don't want or you think someone has got access that they shouldn't, um, you can very easily revoke a token and create a new one. Cool. See you in the next video. Thank you.